We're now in another section of our Space Planning with AutoCAD video course. And what we're going to look at now is defining space. Now, before we define our space, though, we need to set up the tools that we're going to use to define that space. We've already done our XREF drawing. Our structural plan is XREFed into the current host drawing. And the drawing at the moment is called Object Snaps O Snap Complete. If you want to follow along with the video, you need to use object snaps osnap.dwg from your working files. As the title of the drawing tells us, we're going to be looking at how object snaps can be used as tools to allow us to quickly start defining our spaces in our AutoCAD drawing, our space planning drawing. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pan and I'm going to zoom in on the top part of my drawing here. Now you'll notice I'm not too worried about that exit there, the steps. That's not an internal area. Now I'm set to the SP gross internal layer, and I've deliberately done that. I'm gonna to work to the inside edge of all of the walls. Now don't forget we've got openings and things here as well. Do these become included in our space planning? We'll cover that as we go. What I'm worried about at the moment is the object snaps. Now down at the bottom of the screen on the status bar, we've got various drafting settings. And as you can see, my buttons there all have words on them. I like that setting, it's the old fashioned setting. If you open up a newer version of AutoCAD though, you will see this, you'll see the icons there. And you'll notice when I right clicked over any of those buttons, there was a use icons option. Now there's the icons that you get when you first start up a new version of AutoCAD. Personally, I don't like them because I have to hover over something to see what it does. Right click on any icon and untick the use icons by clicking on the toggle again there. So, O snap is object snaps, polar is polar tracking, and so on and so forth. Make sure when you're working with your object snaps when you're space planning that polar tracking is on and you need a minimum, if you right click there, of 90 degrees or possibly 45 degrees. That way you know that you'll always get horizontal and vertical or increments of. Personally, 90 degrees is fine because all we're working with here is obviously vertical and horizontal walls. There don't seem to be many angled 45 degree walls in this drawing. If there were, what I would do is update the polar tracking to 45 degrees. Object snaps is the important one. Let's go look at that now. So if I right click over O snap, I get my shortcut menu and I can switch on any object snap I want on the shortcut menu. What we need are our optimum running object snaps. So we go to settings and this will bring up our drafting settings dialog box. And you can see here that we're in the object snap tab. Now you'll notice object snap tracking is on. That's the O track button down here. So make sure that this is on and this is on by both of them being ticked. And you want your default object snaps on the ones that you'll always use. So do a clear all, and for space planning, Sean's rule of thumb is endpoint, midpoint, center, intersection, and extension. The rest of them, you can hold down the shift key on the keyboard and right click and bring up your override snap menu if you need any of the other ones. So you then click on OK. So now we know that O snap and O track are on and our optimum object snaps are set. Now, I'm on the SP Gross Internal Area layer, so as if I was going to start measuring the space, what I would do is I'd go to the Polyline command here on the Draw panel, on the Home tab, on the ribbon. Utilising my object snaps now, I can start drawing that polyline. Now, Gross Internal Area, GIA, measures the entire floor area. So if I just pan, you'll use pan a lot when you're doing this, and then I'll zoom in. I'm now going to drag down, and because I've got O track on, it gives me that intersection there, like so. And then I come out, and I'm going to zoom and pan, and I use my wheel on my mouse a lot when I'm doing this. It's a very useful tool. Just pan, and then I'm coming down to this corner here, and so on and so forth. You can see how those object snaps are imperative to get accurate snap points to define your areas when you're space planning. As we work through this section, we'll start defining all the areas using the appropriate layers and the appropriate snaps.